Today, our topic is Methods of Reproduction in Fungi in Diversity of Living World, Unit 1, Chapter 1 in Botany. Already we have seen the general characteristics of fungi. Now we are going to see the methods of reproduction. There are two methods of reproduction. Asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. First we will see the asexual reproduction. So here in fungi the asexual reproduction takes place by spores. So the zoospores are flagellate. So you can see the flagellate. And they are produced in the zoosporangium. Example, chytridius. Chytridius. Chytrids. Okay, chytridius, not chytrids. You pronounce like chytrids. So, they are, you have to remember about zoospore is they have flagellate structures. They are produced from the zoosporangium. Example is chytrids. Conidia. So, the, the spores, this is the spores, gonidium, it is produced on the gonidiophore. This is the, the stock of the gonidia is called gonidiophore. Okay, example, penicillium. So, if, if they ask gonidia means you have to write the spore produced on the gonidiophore is called gonidia. Example, penicillium. Oidia or thallospores or orthrospores. So the hypha, this is the hypha. The hypha is divided into spores. Like this. So they are divided into spores and developed, divided and developed into spores. You can write it as divided into spores or divided and developed into spores. That is called oidia. So that is called oidia. Example, erysiphae. So, this is a thallus structure where the thallus divides into spore. So, it is called as thallospores. You see the arthropoda that is the cockroach. The insects have jointed legs. So, it looks like this spore looks like a jointed leg. So, it can be named as arthrospores. Example, erysiphae. Fission. Fission means this is the vegetative cell. This vegetative cell divide and produce two daughter cells. So that is called fission and it is seen in the yeast. Cyzosaccharomyces yeast. Okay. So vegetative cell divide to produce two daughter cells. This is seen in Cyzosaccharomyces. Example that is Cyzosaccharomyces. Common name is yeast. Budding. A small outgrowth is developed on the parent cell which gets detached and becomes independent. So, if this is the parent cell. In the parent cell, you can see a small outgrowth. That outgrowth is called bud and the nucleus divides. So, the nucleus from the parent cells is divides, divides with the bud. That after dividing and after the bud formed fully, this bud is detached from the parent cell. That is called budding. This is seen in Saccharomyces yeast. So this is also seen in yeast. That is a small outgrowth in the parent cell. Okay, parent cell. And it is it got detached from the parent cell. So it is got detached. So the gap you can see here now it got detached and becomes independent and it acts as an independent yeast. So example saccharomyces. Okay. The common name for saccharomyces is yeast. You can write yeast also if you forgot the saccharomyces. Next, chlamydospores. So, the chlamydospores are thick-walled resting spores. So, they are thick-walled. So, here, the chlamydo, this is the chlamydospores. They cannot move and they are thick-walled. Okay, thick-walled. They produce a thick wall around it. So, the thick-walled spores are called chlamydospore. Example, fusarium. Now, we will see the sexual reproduction. In asexual reproduction, you see the different types of spores. 
in sexual reproduction you going to see the plano gametic copulation copulation plano gametic copulation that is fusion of motile gametes motile means moving gametes like sperm and ovum sperm or egg so the male gamete and female gamete going to fused that is called plano gametic copulation it, it is divided into three types isogamy anisogamy oogamy isogamy means fusion of morphologically and physiologically similar gametes so fusion of morphology means externally physiology means functionally they are same gametes so their sh their shape structure function are same that type of gametes is called isogametes isogamy isogamy means same type of gametes in shape structure and function so example synchytrium synchytrium anisogamy the fusion of morphological or physiological dissimilar so the fusion takes place between dissimilar gametes they may be externally or functionally any one they may be different that is called anisogamy example allomysis oogamy fusion of both morphologically and physiologically dissimilar gametes so both morphologically and morphologically means externally and physiological means functionally they are dissimilar example monobelliparis monobelliparis so plano gametic copulation means fusion of motile gametes the fusion of motile gametes means the sperm will reaches the ovum so that type of fusion is called plano gametic copulation in that three types isogamy iso means same gametes so they are same in structure that is morphology and function physiology uh, that type of fusion takes place means that is called isogamy example synchytrium anisogamy fusion of morphologically or physiologically dissimilar gametes so any one if the fusion takes place in that is morphology means externally different any one that is morphology or physiology so externally different or functionally different any one type any one type that is morphology it may be by externally same but physiology means functionally it is different like that it takes place means that is called anisogamy example allomysis oogamy means both morphology and physiologically dissimilar gametes so morphology means externally uh, that is structurally and physiology means functionally they are different gametes that type of fusion is called oogamy example monobelliparis 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 so this is the gametangial copulation so it is seen in rhizopus here the plus strain and minus strain as i had uh, discussed you about the general characteristics that is heterothallism in the milestones so here you can see the plus strain and minus strain alpha they are going to fused so now they are forming the progametangium so this progametangium fuses first after the fusion after the fusion it forms zygospore condition so the fusion the progametangium and now it becomes gametes these gametes fused and forms the zygospore the zygospore germinate and produce zygosporangium that is the the that is the the spore that is sporangia that is it, this is formed from the zygosporangium so this is the zygospore from that the sporangia is formed this is the sporangia and it is called zygosporangium this is a gametangial copulation means fusion of gametes okay here plus and minus strains are 
fused and here this zygospore contains plus and minus strains after the zygosporangium matures this sporangia matures and liberates the spores minus and plus strains plus strains spores are liberated 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 and it is dispersed in the air if the minus strain falls and germinate that becomes the minus strain ifa of rhizopus if the plus strain falls that becomes the plus strain of plus strain of rhizopus so this is the gametangial copulation uh, uh, that is example and the diagram now we will see the gametangial contact during sexual reproduction a contact is established between anthridium and oogonium example albigo so you can see the oogonium and the anthridium this is anthridium okay this is oogonium these two going to fuse fuse means zygote will form that type of contact so the gametes are in contact so that is called gametangial contact and it is called it is called gametangial contact okay seen in albigo so the anthridium and the oogonium are come in contact so they both are come in contact that is called gametangial contact seen in albigo gametangial copulation so that i have explained with the help of a rhizopus and this is the sporangia of mucor so the fusion of gametes to form zygospore so this this uh, diagram ma so the fusion of gametes to form the zygospore that is called gametangial copulation and the, that is the example is before you see now that is rhizopus and this is the mucor spermatization in this method a uninucleate pycnospore microgonadium is transferred to receptacle eiffel cell example paxinia and neurospora so the paxinia which causes disease in the rice so paxinia graminis it causes disease and neurospora is a fungi which is used in the uh, biotechnological field and you can see the spermatia spermatization means the spermatia so the new uninucleate single cell okay you can see the single cell here one and here one so this one and this one the single cell the single cell that is called pycnospores or microconidia they are transformed to receptacle eiffel cell so the spore is transferred to the so you can see this is spermatia and this is transfer this is spermatia and this is transfer this to this receptient ifa so the ifa which receives the spermatia that is pycnospores or microconidia uh, then that ifa is called receptial ifa so this is seen in paxinia and neurospora so the same way this is also this diagram is in your book and this i will take this um, this is uh, easy to understand no you so the spores that is pycnospores or microgonidium is transferred is transferred to the receptacle hyphae that is called spermatization okay stomatogamy the fusion of two stomatic cells of the hyphae that is the gametes are not involved here the stomatic cell that is body cells this is a body cell in the hyphae and this is the body cell they fuses so they fuses and forms the stomatogamy so now the this one is moved to here so here you can see the two cells so the two nucleus not cells two nucleus are fused that type is called stomatogamy stomato means the body cells are fused the normal body cells are fused and become the gamete then it is called gam stomatogamy that is the fusion of two body cells of the hyphae is called stomatogamy example agaricus that is the mushroom agaricus is a mushroom so stomatogamy means what the fusion of body cells is called stomatogamy example agaricus 
Thank you for watching the video. If you have any doubts, post your doubts in the comment box. Give a thumbs up, share and subscribe to Science Easy Tech channel.